we can categorize people, deaf people, blind people, people with other disabilities. Are we all worthy of living? In today's society, many people see us as suffering and not worthy of life. But if that type of attitude continues, it means that there will be no peace, no mercy, a lack of love. God's gifts will not be recognized among us. Is that the real body of Christ? Today, in St. Paul's letter to the Galatians, He talks about a new creation, a person whose heart has become new. Someone whose heart has become new is able to recognize the gifts of God and recognize people with disabilities as having gifts and recognize those gifts and that they are all worthy of life as well. That's why in the gospel, Jesus told his disciples, we need more laborers Ask the master of the harvest to help you and guide you. It is our work, our responsibility here on earth to accept a great diversity of people, people with disabilities, because that helps build up the church and Christ's body, because their gifts are so wonderful. There's great beauty there. We view others as unworthy of not having beauty. Where is the love? Where is the mercy? Where would the peace be? We are all called to build up a beautiful church, the body of Christ, that has many, many varied people who each have unique gifts that will surprise us. We can learn so much from each other. And that is a promise from God.